Hi everyone, I am back with a new Mickey and Minnie card series for 2016. This is the New Year card, and I'm going to show you how to make it. This is a brand new design this year. Um, it is a matchbook card that I created. Um, I did some of these a few months back. Um, I made an anniversary card, I made a birthday card. I did not show them because I was not ready to do the tutorial on these. So as you can see on the side here, it looks like a little matchbook. So I'm going to show you how to make this. The finished card is basically an A2. It's uh, a four and a quarter, I think by five and a quarter. It's not five and a half, five and three eighths. So it's an eighth of an inch under five and a half. So this is still going to fit perfect inside an A2 size envelope and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make this card. And um, I did get a um, a comment on one of my other video videos asking to introduce myself. Um, a lot of my viewers um, kind of already know who I am, but um, my name is Shell, and um, this is what I do. Card making and paper crafting and... I'm going to do a whole other video on all that stuff just to kind of go over um, who I am and what my channel is about and stuff like that for new people coming in. So look out for that video coming up. Um, so we're going to get back to this card. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this. And the paper pad that I am using, I did show in the supply video. And it is the Four Seasons from the Paper Studio. So that's the, the stack that I will be using for the entire series. And then all of the other supplies are here. Everything is pre-cut and kind of ready to go. I will do the scoring and all that with you guys. And then we'll go over the measurements. <coughs> Excuse me. So your card base is going to be 4 and a quarter by 11. And I'm going to use the Big Dog scoreboard for this because of where I need to score it. So on the 11, <clears throat> excuse me, on the 11 inch side, we're gonna score it at one inch. Then we're gonna score it at six and three eighths. And then we're gonna score it at six and a half. And that is it for scoring. So we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. So there are the score lines. So this one inch score mark here is actually going to be the bottom of the card. So we're just going to fold that up. And then the two, the two score lines right here are going to be where we're going to fold to create the matchbook. There's one, and sometimes it's a little tricky because they're only an eighth of an inch apart. So I just kind of like to shove my finger in there. And then I want to make sure that this is straight. So this top piece, a little tricky, but not too bad. So there we go. We have our basic matchbook design. So this bottom piece here is where the stapler comes in. And you can use whatever kind of stapler you have. I just happen to have the Stampin' Up! mini stapler. And you just want to staple to about like that. So then that's going to create the pocket for the top of the matchbook. Okay, so now we're going to start decorating this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this bottom panel first. And I'm using white as my mat this time. All of my bases will be black for this series again. Um, and there will be a 
a colored mat behind every pattern paper. I can't really tell you what colors are going to be. There may be a lot of white. <laughs> it seems to be working for a lot of the prints in the stack. So this is just going to be layered right here on top of this black. And then my little patterned striped pieces are, okay, so this is cut. I should tell you the measurements. This little piece here is four and one eighth by seven eighths. So this one is four by three quarters. So we're just gonna go ahead and layer those real quick and get this bottom piece attached. So now we're just going to go ahead and stick this on the little bottom panel there. And this is going to go ahead and cover up those staples too. Not that they're too bad, but... So there we go with the bottom panel. Now we're going to go ahead and do the top and this, whoops, the white mat is cut at four and one eighth by, I believe four and three eighths. Yes, four and three eighths. And then my patterned print here, got a little smushed, um, is four by four and a quarter. So we're just going to go ahead and layer those. If you're going to do any of your inking around your edges or whatever, um, you'll want to go ahead and do that now before you glue it down. So we're just going to center this on here. Like that. Got a little extra glue there. There we go. So now we're just gonna put this on to the front. I keep getting out of the camera, I'm so sorry. So we'll just go ahead and attach this. right to the front panel here. So there we have that. Now we're gonna go ahead and stick the little mat on the inside. This is cut at three and three quarters by three and three quarters. You can cut the your inside little message piece um, to whatever size that you like. So then I'm just gonna center this on the inside of the card. So there we have that. And we're gonna go ahead and put our Mickey and Minnie on the front which is just our little circles. And these are cut using a, a one inch circle and a five eighths inch circle. And then I just piece them, just glued the two little circles behind to create the Mickey head shape. And then I just took a white gel pen and faux stitched all the way around. So we're going to use my Zig two-way squeeze and roll pen here and get these glued on. So we'll just glue this one down. 
And I've already cut my bow for Minnie's head. Just using some eyelet ribbon that I get at Michael's. So here is my bow. I'm just going to attach that with a glue dot. So we'll stick that right on Minnie's head there. So there is her little bow. Now we're going to work on our sentiment piece down here. In that, I am using Teeny Tiny Wishes, and I forgot to get out my little, I'm going to have to move the camera just a little bit, forgot to get my itty bitties stamp set for the inside. <clears throat> So there's that. Let's see if I can put this back without making you guys all nauseous. <laughs> okay, so the itty bitties stamp set, or teeny tiny wishes, I'm sorry. Itty bitties is not up yet. I'm using the Happy New Year. I'm also going to use the Word Window Punch, which is still available. But I'm also going to be using the Modern Label Punch, which is a retired punch, unfortunately. Um, so whatever kind of layering you want to do is totally fine. It does not have to be what I am using. So I'm going to use Marina Mist from Stampin' Up! as my blue. It was the closest blue I had that would match this paper. So I'm just going to stamp my Happy New Year, just like that. And now we're going to go ahead and punch it out with the word window. So. Just like that. Now we're going to take the Modern Label Punch and just punch out a little Modern Label there. So now we're going to put some rhinestones. I'm just using these little rhinestones I got from my Scrapbook Expo. Just put one on each side. I put these down first because they're a great guide on centering my sentiment here. So then we'll just take this and put it right in the center. And then I'll take a couple of dimensionals. Then we'll just pop this up. So we're just going to try to center it. like so. And then on the inside, I'm going to use the little snowflake in here. Since this is kind of a wintry New Year card. And I'm going to take that marina mist again. We're just going to stamp a few snowflakes in here. So 
So we'll just do a little cluster over here. So then we have some little snowflakes on the inside. You could put them in each corner, you could spread them around, whatever you wanted to do. The inside of the other card that I did, I have another option for that I did. I kind of made some faux match sticks to go with the whole um, matchbook theme. And so I just cut little strips. These are about um, one and three quarter inches long. I did snip one of them just a tad bit and they're a quarter of an inch wide. And then the little Mickeys are punched out using a really small um, Mickey head punch that my friend Margaret in California, hi Margaret, um, she has one. I tried to find one, I can't find one and neither can she, not this same size. Um, so she had punched a bunch of these out for me and sent them to me in a pocket letter months back over the summer and so I wanted to use them inside of here so if you have some kind of little you know Mickey punch or whatever you can certainly use that on the inside um, I may throw in how I did that in one of the the card making videos if you guys want me to um, the majority of them I'm just gonna do the stamping because not everyone has access to that little punch so then you just take this and you just tuck it right in to the front pouch here. And then you just kind of push on your top piece. And then that creates your little matchbook. And it looks like this on the side. Just like a little matchbook. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this brand new card series. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!